Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're going to try Explore Platinum by Mobla. So I got a little sample of Explorer Platinum. Uh, here we go. It shows a little bit the bottle. It was made in France. And that sample is 100% French. And if you speak French, you can pause the video and read what's written, if anything. Oh no, it's in English, the first thing. It was in French, a whole, a whole thing. So it says, Mont Blanc Explorer Platinum Express, a new chapter of the spirit of exploration, taking us toward new adventures into the world's highest summit. Discover the new woody, ambery eau de parfum, evoking the ascension of an adventurer in the mountain. So let's try the smell. So I spray it on the paper and in the air already has a little bit of a cheap synthetic smell. So I'm picking up a violet leaf some kind of powdery note and some mandarin or something like that note. I know there's no uh, mandarin disclosed in, in the fragrance, but it's one of the big thing I'm picking up. More on that when I'm gonna tell the breakdown, how it evolved on my skin. It's probably a little bit like candy, like Jolly Ranger and stuff like that, or like some kind of orange juice. On my skin, it smells a lot like tang powder. I would say it might smell a little bit like tang, like as a liquid. Now I don't drink tang often. It's actually really rare. Probably if I would have tang next to it, I would not be uh, like uh, saying the same that it's really smell similar, but to me it had a little something. I'm picking also notes of cedarwood, but it's definitely not a natural note. I would say probably there's some iso e super inside of that fragrance and maybe some other note that like woody note that together give a cedarwood smell. Also, I'm I'm having some sage, but it's pretty much the weakest note I'm picking up on paper, even though it seems to be the most popular note for Guantica. So on my skin, what I was picking up, in the note that's this close, I would say there was a lot of cedar, but the real thing that I was picking up uh, was some tangerine note. I was smelling like tang a little bit. I was picking up also a little bit of violet leaf, clary sage, and some coconut also. In the heart note, I was picking up still a lot of tang, that powdery tangerine note. I was picking up a good amount of cedar and a little bit of clary sage. And in the base note, mostly what I was picking up was cedar. Projection was not super good. Now today it's pretty warm. I'm wearing a jacket for the video, but I'm going to remove it right after because I'm hot with it. So when I sprayed it, it was in the air. Also, I sprayed it kind of in the air on the paper. So I was picking it up, but it was not really ejecting. It was hard for people to pick it up around me. So it was a bad projection, which actually would make it nice for summer. A longevity though was really good. 7 to 12 hours. I would say it would last a whole day at work. It was not like super far in that 12 hours. It was not like almost being longer than that. It was really in that 7 to 12 hours, 8, 9, 10 hour, something like that. For the complete note breakdown, the top note is Violet Leaves. Heart note is Clary Sage. And the base note is Sandalwood. So where would see this fragrance? Even though I'm saying it smell like Tang and everything, and I'm kind of not specifically liking that fragrance. I think it would be a pretty good versatile fragrance. It would work as business fragrance. In any case, I would wear it only in summer. Uh, it would be a horrible winter scent. But uh, as a business scent in summer, it would be good. There's some sweetness, something interesting to it. I would say maybe a dating fragrance, it would be good. I wouldn't say it's would be one of the best, but I, I didn't think it could make it work. And summer winter spectrum, as I said, would be super, super bad in winter. I mean, even in the last days of fall or early days of summer, I'm not sure. No, it was early days of summer, early days of summer that I've been wearing it. It's not, it didn't project much. So it's really a summer fragrance. Will be great as a summer fragrance. It's nice, somewhat unique. I would say somehow will probably be interesting for people that like the brand John Barbados, especially Artisan or the whole Artisan line, would probably be appealing for those 
people that like that line. And as an everyday fragrance, I mean, it will do the job. And it's not a super expensive fragrance. Right now, it might be still a bit expensive because it's new. And even in discounter, you cannot have a good price. But eventually, it's going to go down. Don't think it's going to be one of the most popular of the line of uh, Explorer. Uh, it might be a flop, might, might just get discontinued eventually. But so I think it would be a good everyday fragrance when it's going to be a bit cheaper. Even at the price it is, it would be good. It's just more for summer. Last a whole day. Smell good. It smells a bit cheap, but it smells good. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, like and share. If you have any question on that fragrance, if you have any other comment, if you tried it and you think it's better than what I say, worse than what I say, you have a different opinion, just put it in the comment. Also, if you're a big fan of the Explorer line and you've tried all three of them, tell me which one is your favorite and why. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.